Japanese seismologists have updated their earthquake risk projections for the country's major cities. It's not good news for people living in eastern Japan. Members of the government's Earthquake Research Committee released the estimates for the next 30 years. The experts have calculated the chance of cities being hit by a quake stronger than min uh, 6 minus, that is, based on data from the past. A 6 minus tremor based on the Japanese scale would make it difficult for people to stay on their feet and could open up major cracks in the ground. Compared to estimates from two years ago, the chance of strong tremors rose sharply in the Kanto region. Chiba City now faces a 75% chance of a 6-minus quake, Yokohama 71%, and Tokyo 23%. Cities with the highest estimated risks are Shizuoka at 89% and Tsu at 87%. Both are in a region considered vulnerable mainly to massive earthquakes originating in the Nankai Trough south of Japan's main island. People in areas where risk projections came out relatively low should not mistakenly think that they are safe from strong tremors. Instead, they should reinforce buildings that are less quake-resistant. The committee official says city authorities and residents should use the projections to strengthen their earthquake preparedness. An assessment by Japan's nuclear watchdog could keep a nuclear power plant in northern Japan offline for an indefinite amount of time. The Nuclear Regulation Authority has discovered that faults under the plant may be active. You couldn't make this shit up! NRA officials released their final assessment of an inspection they made earlier this month of the Higashidori nuclear plant in Aomori Prefecture. The assessment confirmed their earlier belief that faults under the plant's compound are most likely active. At a meeting on Wednesday, officials from plant operator Tohoku Electric Power Company argued that the faults are not active. They said there are no indications the faults have moved in recent times. However, the NRA experts pointed to a lack of evidence substantiating the utility's claim. We think that active faults exist under the compound. And we conclude that there is no evidence to contradict our view. The team will finalize its report in the next few weeks. Tohoku Electric will now have to review its anti-quake measures at the plant, taking into account the presence of active faults. This is the second time that active faults have been found under a nuclear power plant in Japan. If you like NECA wafers, the original candy wafer, yeah, that's a category that really took off, there's no need to watch this video. You're going to get screwed no matter what. The territorial issue is just one of many Japan's incoming administration is facing. The Liberal Democrats also need to lay out their energy policy. They want to keep nuclear reactors running despite opposition following the Fukushima accident. That has raised questions about the influence the LDP-led coalition could have on regulators. NHK World's Reiko Sakurai spoke to a top U.S. nuclear regulator who is visiting Japan to attend meetings with Japanese authorities. William Magwood serves as one of five commissioners on the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Japanese government officials consider his organization an example when they built their new Nuclear Regulatory Authority, or NRA. And what we would like to do is um, give the new NRA uh, the benefit of the mistakes we've made. You know, we've learned those lessons. Uh, we can pass on that experience and at any time we're... One key lesson Magwood wants to share with Japanese officials is that politics and nuclear regulation don't mix. Independence of a regulatory agency is an essential key to assuring uh, the right kinds of decisions are made, the right kind of nuclear safety uh, processes are put in place. In the United States, uh, NRC is designed to basically um, ignore entirely the political winds around it. Um, if, for example, President Obama had, had lost the election and uh, Governor Romney had won, um, it would not have affected our work. 
NRC officials are reviewing the safety of U.S. nuclear facilities following the Fukushima accident. Magwood says they've learned from what happened there. One lesson involves filters. They absorb radioactive materials when plants are vented. The Fukushima plant didn't have them, so more contamination was able to get out. We've asked the question in our country, should we install filters? You know, this is a, a way of uh, re removing contamination from um, the um, exhaust from an after a nuclear accident. Uh, we, don't, we don't require filters today, um, but we may change. So we're looking, we're viewing that. Magwood also believes in focusing on education, which the U.S. did following the 1979 Three Mile Island accident. Fewer people in Japan are choosing to study nuclear science in wake of Fukushima and following calls by politicians to phase out atomic energy. Um, how do you convince students to go um, devote their lives to this field if it's not clear what the future is? So it's going to be a big, big challenge. Um, in the U.S. at the time, we invested a lot of resources into scholarships and fellowships and research grants at universities to help build uh, that core. Um, um, perhaps the Japanese government may have to think about similar things. Right now, Japanese government officials and nuclear regulators are thinking about the safety of facilities around the country. Teams are checking some plants to make sure they aren't sitting on active faults. Magwood says the NRC is following this work closely and hopes to learn even more lessons in the future. Reiko Sakurai, NHK World, Tokyo. Japan's new Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has described how his administration will govern Japan. The country's 96th Prime Minister, who was also its 90th, says his new cabinet will make every effort to tackle the challenges Japanese face. Abe promised the central government will take the lead in rebuilding disaster-hit regions in northeastern Japan, especially Fukushima Prefecture, home to the damaged nuclear plant. You couldn't make this shit up. The new prime minister says he will achieve results as soon as possible to regain the trust of the Japanese people. This is just uh, more of the same kind of shenanigans uh, that any of these people who are in positions of power or positions to manipulate people uh, attempt to do in order to keep the meme running so that they can capitalize on it for whatever need or for whatever reason that they have. People in Fukushima know it all too well. After the TEPCO nuclear disaster, the quality of medical care has dropped. One example, too many patients and not enough nurses. To remedy this problem, hospitals have begun holding tours for trained nurses from outside the region to encourage them to offer their services. 30 visiting nurses check out hospitals in the nuclear disaster area. They've come from Tokyo, Osaka and other cities. The nurses are guests of the Fukushima Prefecture government. Officials of Omachi General Hospital in Minamisoma City had high hopes for the tour. Their hospital lays about 25 kilometers from the troubled Fukushima nuclear power plant. After the nuclear disaster, about 80 of the hospital's 100 nurses left, most feared radiation. Even though more nurses now work there, they have too many patients. That's because nearby hospitals are still closed. We are barely operating. Several other hospitals have loaned us nurses. It may look like we have plenty of nurses, but the fact is, we're still seriously understaffed. The extra nurses came from outside the prefecture. They play a valuable role in the patient care. Nakajima says environmental issues have long interested her. She knows cities depend on energy from nuclear power plant. So the nuclear accident shook her. We city people owe a lot to Fukushima. I'd like to do something to help it. The hospital staff explained the state of local medical services. They also said the hospital needs more nurses and stressed job satisfaction. It appears people are gradually forgetting about the disaster and its victims. If any of you wishes to work with us, we'd be grateful. Nakajima spoke about the advantages of working in a rural setting. 
citing her own experiences. Omachi is a really nice place and offers a stress-free work environment. I'd like to invite you to join us and help us to make it even better. The visiting nurses asked about the job and problems they might face in their daily lives. The mothers of small children were keen to know about the dangers of radiation. I'd be lying if I said I didn't ignore the dangers of radiation. I let my children play outside only briefly. After the briefing, many visiting nurses said they would seriously consider the job offer. I want to impress by how devoted all the staff were, so I want to help them too. We know it's difficult, but we'll continue to call for help. I hope they will return to us someday. If Fukushima is to recover, locals need better medical care. So, the understaffed Omachi Hospital must keep recruiting nurses from around Japan.